We have something kind of special for you today here. This is the ASUS Marshmallow Keyboard KW100 and uh, also the ASUS Marshmallow Mouse. This mouse, we have unboxed it uh, about a year or two ago. I can't remember. But either way, this is just for us to go in companion with this keyboard because, you know, the colors are matching and whatnot. It's supposed to go in a set. So this keyboard here, as you can see here, it has multi-device connectivity, two-level kickstand, and it's also quiet. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. And we also have it in the green tea latte color, or you can also get it in the oat milk color which is the same as this mouse but of course the keyboard you can't just change the plate to another color so do remember to choose what color you want to pair your mouse with before you purchase it so let's unbox it and see how this keyboard actually looks and feels and types okay very simple packaging so we can lift off the keyboard here and then documentation not really gonna touch it so we have the keyboard here wrapped in a piece of paper mm -hmm. okay so this keyboard here immediately looks very familiar to me i think some other brand also have multi connectivity and also having this kind of same shape as well but either way yeah, you can see the mouse here is in the oat milk color. So this is just a quick recap, by the way. You can watch our full video of this mouse at the top right corner there or in the description below. Um, we can change the shell to this. And there you go. Now the color matches. And I would have to say this actually looks very cute. <laughs> and um, the keyboard in itself is a standard laptop layout JD, what is this keyboard layout called again? 60 something percent? 60 to 65% range Okay, 60 I to 65% range Yeah, those who are familiar with laptops they're familiar with this Yeah, pretty much ASUS 14 inch keyboard laptop layouts in a physical keyboard form and uh, the whole functionality here is pretty simple so you can see 1, 2, 3 here is to connect device 1, 2, 3 uh, you can just hold FN1, FN2, FN3 to change between all three devices. And then at the back here, we have the on-off switch toggle. Rubber feet, but also kickstand, which is real nice. I didn't expect such a thin keyboard to have a kickstand. Then once we pop this out, this is where the battery is going to be. Double, triple A's, but the mouse is using a single double A, which is... Kind of weird. I do wish all of them just use double A or triple A's instead of you know mixing and matching, but that's how it goes. So let's pop this in, close this, and the keyboard is real simple. I mean, I like the color, but yeah, it's a membrane, of course. Let's just turn it on. Light shows up to say that it is in pairing mode. I will hit. Fn1, Fn2 Yeah, when it flashes means that it is pairing So I suppose that's how it works And then now I hold Fn and 1 to go into pairing mode That should be how it works Yeah, blinking means it's in pairing mode Asus KW100 Channel 1 Press on it uh, I need to type 7135811 Enter. Yay, it has been paired. So now, you know what, let's just pair the mouse as well. So now we have both the keyboard and mouse paired to my phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I'll just have to prop it out a little so that you won't get reflection. And uh, you know what, let's do a quick keyboard typing test right now. I will use, I'm not sure if monkey type works on phone. Does it work on phone? Okay, typing test. Uh, kind of reflective, can't really see. Alright, okay, this works.
uh, okay, in a very awkward typing test position, I still can get 106 words per minute. 94% accuracy because, you know, a lot of reflection on the screen. But either way, I would have to say this keyboard is really, really silent, but the plastic flexing is not really that silent because as you can see here, if I twist it a bit, the whole thing kind of moves and that is when, when I start to type, then it has some creaking sound. Either way, typing experience is real fun. Lots of travel distance, bouncy membrane. So fun to type on. But overall, I would have to say, if you want to use this with your PC, phone, tablet, then you can because you've got one, two, three here. Just that this mouse here, you don't have multi-connectivity. You do have a 2.4 GHz dongle for your PC or laptop, and then Bluetooth for either your phone or your tablet. You only can choose one. And uh, yeah, it's real simple. I like this keyboard a lot, actually. The silence is really something that I like. Kind of comparable to my Cherry MX Silent Rate key switches. So, uh, oh yeah, if you want to pair this with a Mac, then you can as well because you have the subscript here printed the command, your control, your option, and then your control key. And you also have the functionalities of a typical Mac laptop as well. So, yeah, this is real inclusive, I would say. I didn't expect Asus to make a keyboard that is compatible with Macs. Oh, yeah. The price of the KW100 keyboard is at 179 ringgit, which isn't exactly cheap because there are some mechanical keyboards that are around the same price. But do remember, this one has Bluetooth and also triple device connection mode. So you can use that. And uh, the price might change when the KW100 arrives in Malaysia at a later date due to the US currency conversion rates. So that is what I've been told actually. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave you all the links down in the description below. Pretty nice keyboard. The feet, oh yeah, we should also try the feet, how stable it is. Quite okay, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely not my thing. It's a bit too high, but it works. Yeah, very loud if you want to prop up using the kickstand. Yeah, that, that's about it. It's a very simple device. 